Good morning. Welcome to the Daily Office. I'm so glad you could join me and thank you. This is Morning Prayer for Monday, August the 11th. It's the ninth week in Pente after Pentecost and week six in the Psalm Cycle. And today is also the feast day of St. Clair of Assisi. The scripture for the service, Psalm 89, verse 1 to 18, and John chapter 3, verse 1 to 21. And please join me in singing the fourth verse of Psalm 100 by Isaac Watts to the tune of Old 100. Our God is good, our God is kind, whose grace is great and mercy sure, and the whole race of Open my lips, thy mouth shall declare your praise. Alleluia, I will sing of your mercies forever. I will tell of your faithfulness to all generations. Alleluia, Psalm 89. And please join me in reciting it together. Alleluia, I will sing of your mercies forever. I will tell of your faithfulness to all generations, for I know that your love is forever. You establish your faithfulness in the heavens. I have made a covenant with my chosen. I have sworn to David my servant. Your dynasty I will establish forever and build up your dominion to all generations. And the heavens shall praise your wonders your faithfulness in the congregation of the saints. For who in heaven can be compared to you? Who among the children of the mighty can be likened to you? You are greatly to be feared in the assembly of the saints and to be held in reverence by all about. O most high God of hosts, who is like you? Your faithfulness is all around you. You rule the stormy sea, and you still the raging waves. You have broken Rahab in pieces, and you have scattered your enemies. The heavens are yours, and also the earth, the world and all that is in it, for you have founded them. The north and the south have you created. Tabor and Hermon rejoice in your name. You have a mighty arm, strong is your right hand. High is your right hand. Justice and righteousness are the foundations of your throne. Mercy and truth go before you. Blessed are the people that know the joyful sound. They shall walk in the light of your countenance. In your name shall they rejoice all the day, and in your righteousness they shall be exalted. For you are the, you are the glory of their strength, and by your favor our might shall be exalted. For you are our defense. The Holy One of Israel is our ruler. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. I will sing of your mercies forever. I will tell of your faithfulness to all generations. Alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John, chapter 3, beginning at verse 1. Now there was a Pharisee named Nicodemus, a leader of the Jews. And he came to Jesus by night and said to him, Rabbi, we know that you are a teacher who has come from God, for no one can do these signs and that you do apart from the presence of God. And Jesus answered, And very truly I tell you, no one can see the kingdom of God without being born from above. And Nicodemus said to him, How can anyone be born after having grown old? Can one enter a second time into the mother's womb and be born? 
And Jesus answered, Very truly I tell you, no one can enter the kingdom of God without being born of water and spirit. What is born of the flesh is flesh, and what is born of the spirit is spirit. Do not be astonished that I said to you, You must be born from above. The wind blows where it chooses, and you hear the sound of it, but you do not know where it comes from or where it goes. So it is with everyone who is born of the Spirit. And Nicodemus said to him, How can these things be? And Jesus answered, Are you a teacher of Israel, and yet you do not understand these things? Very truly I tell you, we speak of what we know and testify to what we have seen. Yet you do not receive our testimony. If I had told you about earthly things and you do not believe, how can you believe if I tell you about heavenly things? No one has ascended into heaven except the one who descended from heaven, the Son of Man. And just as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, so must the Son of Man be lifted up. And whoever believes in him may have eternal life. For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, so that everyone who believes in him may not perish, but have eternal life. Indeed, God did not send the Son into the world to condemn the world, but in order that the world might be saved through him. Those who believe in him are not condemned, but those who do not believe are condemned already, because they have not believed in the name of the only Son of God. And this is the judgment that the light has come into the world, and people love darkness rather than light, because their deeds were evil. For all who do evil hate the light and do not come into the light, so that their deeds may not be exposed. But those who do what is true come to the light, so that it may be clearly seen that their deeds have been done in God. Here ends the lesson. And now let us offer our prayers and petitions. Please say the response after each verse. Defend us, O God, and we shall shout for joy, for we put our trust in you. Merciful God, teach us your ways. Keep us from all sin today. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Feed us and lift us up forever. We sing of your power and mercy in the morning. You are our refuge in times of trouble. We place our hope in you, for with you is mercy and plenteous redemption. Every day we bless you, and we praise your name forever and ever. And for all of your intentions. Let's sing together. Are you love which I could have on? Holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. We sing of your love, O tender God, and proclaim your faithfulness forever. May we ever walk in your holy presence and rejoice every day in your righteousness and favor. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We trust in the mercy of God forever. And glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation in the church, 
and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia.